Could entire civilizations lie undiscovered beneath the ocean waves? Imagine vast cities, their streets and palaces swallowed by the sea, resting in silence on the ocean floor. These submerged sites hold tales of human endeavor, swallowed by time and water. Across the globe, the mystery of sunken cities captivates historians, archaeologists and adventurers alike. From the fabled Atlantis, whispered about in ancient texts, to lesser-known submerged cities like Dwarka in India and Pavlopetri in Greece, these places offer a tantalizing glimpse into a world lost beneath the waves. Each site, a puzzle waiting to be solved, beckons with stories of ancient civilizations and the enigmatic end that overtook them. Modern technology such as sonar mapping and advanced diving equipment now allows us to probe deeper than ever before. These tools not only challenge the boundaries of human exploration, but also promise to unveil secrets that have been hidden for millennia. Join us as we dive into the depths of history and myth, exploring the legendary city of Atlantis and other submerged wonders. The legend of Atlantis, first mentioned by Plato, has captivated minds for centuries. But what do we really know about it? Delving into the texts of the ancient philosopher Plato, Atlantis is described as a powerful and advanced kingdom that existed about 9,000 years before his own time. This mighty civilization, according to Plato, lay beyond the Pillars of Hercules, which is thought to be the Strait of Gibraltar today. He depicted it as an island larger than Libya and Asia combined, rich with natural resources and rare metals, and inhabited by a noble and sophisticated people. The story takes a tragic turn with Atlantis falling out of favor with the deities. Plato narrates how this once proud civilization succumbed to greed and corruption, leading to its eventual downfall. In a single day and night of misfortune, the island was swallowed by the sea, vanishing without a trace. This dramatic end has fueled endless speculation and debate over whether Atlantis was a real place or merely a philosophical parable. The theories about the location of Atlantis are as vast and deep as the ocean itself. Some scholars suggest it was in the Mediterranean, possibly linked to the Minoan civilization on the island of Crete, which was devastated by a volcanic eruption around 1600 BC. Others look to the Caribbean, where underwater formations like the Bimini Road have sparked claims of ancient man-made structures. A more symbolic interpretation views Atlantis not as a literal place but as a metaphorical cautionary tale about the hubris of civilizations that distance themselves from ethical and moral principles. This perspective suggests that Plato's Atlantis is a mythological construct with lessons on the dangers of moral and societal decay. While the true existence of Atlantis remains a topic of debate, the allure of this lost civilization continues to inspire explorations. Whether it was real or mythical, the story of Atlantis challenges us to think deeply about the rise and fall of societies and what might lie beneath both the water's surface and our collective imagination. Beyond the myth of Atlantis, real sunken cities tell their own true stories. Imagine strolling through a city bustling with life, markets full of vibrant goods and temples filled with the devout, only to find it submerged beneath the waves centuries later. This is not a scene from a fantasy novel, but a reality for cities like Thonis Heraklion in Egypt and Dwarka in India. Thonis Heraklion, once Egypt's gateway to the Mediterranean, now lies submerged near the mouth of the Nile. It was discovered in 2000, hidden beneath nearly 30 feet of water. The city's submersion was gradual, believed to be caused by a combination of rising sea levels and the heavy, sediment-laden foundations upon which it was built. Archaeologists diving into its watery depths were greeted by monumental statues, gold coins and remnants of boats that once sailed the Mediterranean. These finds not only highlight the city's economic significance but also its cultural and ritualistic importance. Travelling from the sandy depths of Egypt to the coastal shores of India, we find Dwarka. Considered one of the seven oldest cities in the subcontinent, Dwarka is said to have been the dwelling place of Lord Krishna and is a significant site in Hindu mythology. Its discovery underwater came after sightings of submerged structures were reported by locals. Excavations revealed a city that dates back over 3,500 years with extensive stone-built structures and artifacts that point to a highly advanced urban settlement. 
The reasons for Dwarka's submersion are still debated, with theories ranging from tectonic activity to rising sea levels. In both cases, these cities are not just relics of the past, but are keys to understanding the complexities of ancient urban life and the forces of nature that can reclaim it. They serve as a reminder of our current challenges with climate change and rising sea levels, echoing the impermanence and vulnerability of even our mightiest cities. These real examples show that the ocean keeps many secrets, possibly including Atlantis itself. Exploring sunken cities is no simple task. What challenges do archaeologists face in these underwater quests? The depths of the ocean hold not only mysteries but formidable obstacles that today's archaeologists must navigate. The field of underwater archaeology has seen significant technological advancements, yet the challenges remain as daunting as the waters are deep. Imagine the complexity of exploring a site that's not only submerged, but also obscured by centuries of sediment and marine growth. Here, visibility is often less than a few feet, making every inch forward a slow reveal. Pioneering archaeologists rely heavily on submersibles equipped with high-resolution cameras and robotic arms. These devices allow them to work in conditions that would be impossible for human divers. Moreover, sonar mapping has revolutionized the way we understand underwater landscapes. By emitting sound waves and measuring their echo, sonar creates detailed maps of the ocean floor, revealing the outlines of ancient structures hidden beneath the silt. This technology provides a clearer picture and guides further exploration without disturbing the site. However, the technological marvels come with their own set of difficulties. Dr. Helena Maris, a leading figure in marine archaeology, points out that the saltwater environment is incredibly harsh on both human and mechanical explorers. Corrosion, strong currents, and the sheer pressure at depth put a limit on how long our equipment can operate and how much we can achieve during each dive. Preservation poses another significant hurdle. Once artifacts are brought to the surface, the sudden change in environment can lead to rapid deterioration. Techniques have been developed to stabilize these treasures, but each item requires meticulous care to ensure it does not crumble away after being rescued from its watery grave. Despite these Herculean efforts, the allure of uncovering history's submerged chapters keeps the spirit of these underwater detectives alive. Each artifact, from pottery shards to monumental stone blocks, is carefully documented and studied. They tell stories of human endeavors, cultures that thrived and then mysteriously vanished beneath the waves. Despite the challenges, each submerged stone and artifact is a piece of the puzzle in understanding our past. Why does the idea of sunken cities fascinate us so deeply? Perhaps it is the allure of the unknown, the seductive pull of uncharted territories that lie beneath the waves. Sunken cities like whispers from the past beckon us with their submerged secrets and ancient tales. These underwater realms serve not only as portals to a bygone era, but also as mirrors reflecting our deepest fears and greatest aspirations. The concept of cities lost to the sea has long captivated the human imagination, fueling countless stories, films and expeditions. Atlantis itself has become a symbol of mystery, inspiring everything from philosophical debates to blockbuster movies. This fascination is deeply rooted in our collective consciousness, driving explorers to plunge into the depths and scholars to pore over ancient texts. Why are we drawn to these watery depths? It is the thrill of discovery, the hope of uncovering hidden truths about our world and perhaps about ourselves. The mystery of the unknown drives our curiosity, pushing us to explore the uncharted depths of our oceans. As we have seen, the ocean holds many secrets, some revealed, others still whispered in the waves. From the enigmatic Atlantis, shrouded in Plato's literary mist, to the real submerged cities like Thonis Heracleion off the coast of Egypt, these underwater realms invite us to ponder what else lies beneath the ocean's surface. The legend of Atlantis has captivated the imagination of explorers and historians for centuries. Described by Plato as an advanced civilization, rich in resources and moral philosophy, it supposedly sank into the sea in a single day and night of misfortune. This tale has spurred countless theories and expeditions, each aiming to uncover a part of this puzzle. Some argue it was merely a philosophical allegory, others insist on a real geographical counterpart, perhaps in the Mediterranean, the Caribbean, or even beyond. Simultaneously, the discovery of actual sunken cities like Pavla Petri in Greece or Dwarka in India confirms that many ancient settlements were indeed swallowed by the waters. 
These cities, once thriving hubs of culture and commerce, now lay silent beneath the waves, their stories preserved in layers of sediment and coral. Archaeological efforts in these underwater sites pose significant challenges. The sea is not an easy place to conduct research. The saltwater corrodes materials, visibility can be low, and the logistics of underwater archaeology are complex. Yet these difficulties do not deter scientists and adventurers who continue to dive deep, driven by the allure of the unknown. As technology advances, so does our potential to unlock further secrets of these submerged cities. Remote sensing technologies, underwater drones and improved diving equipment appearing deeper and with greater clarity than ever before. Each dive brings us closer to understanding whether these places were victims of natural disasters, human influence, or perhaps a combination of both. Whether myth or reality, the stories of sunken cities continue to enchant and mystify us. The ocean's depths keep their secrets well, but for how long?